Follow up on a sick child. A child's illness can change quickly, so follow up with a child until they are better. This is whether the child is being treated at home or has been referred or even if they have improved. Let me show you what this looks like in practice. In a previous video, I visited Nelly and her five-month-old daughter, Tabisa. Tabisa was very sick and I referred her for urgent care to a health facility. Take a look at our follow-up visit. I'm so happy to see that Tabisa is back home. How is she doing? Yes, she got medicine and she is breathing much better. That is good news. How are you giving this medicine to Tabisa? Um, a pill or is it half? Um... Can I see the medicine and any documents that the health facility gave you? Okay, I see. Let me remind you how to give this medicine to Tabisa as it is very important that she takes the medicine properly for the full time. In addition to making sure that Tabisa takes the full course of her medicine as it was prescribed, there are other things you can do to help her feel better as soon as possible. If she has a fever, you can remove extra clothing or use cold washcloths on her skin. Remember also to keep breastfeeding Tabisa as drinking enough liquids is very important for her. It is also helpful to spend time with her, talk to her and play with her. If the child was older and eating food, I would advise that Nelly offer food more often and in smaller quantities. A sick child may not want to eat a lot, but getting enough liquids like water is very important. Remember, if Tabisa does not improve, gets worse or develops a danger sign, take her to a health facility urgently. Do you remember what signs and symptoms to look out for? Let me remind you. A fever. It seems as though Tabisa is getting better. She has no danger signs, she is not getting sicker, and has no new symptoms. This is good news. Carry on with the medicine and the home care that we spoke about. As you support the child and family, continuously share your knowledge and educate families on the signs and symptoms of illnesses, as well as the danger signs.